guys and welcome back to my channel my name is alexis and today is the opening day for avengers affinity war infinity war um my husband and i are gonna go see the movie um at midday so we are really really excited to go out and see it um so today i'm actually going to do an avengers inspired makeup look um i was thinking about doing iron man you know doing reds and golds and black and that sort of thing and then i was thinking it would be fun to do a Captain America inspired makeup look. So if you're interested, keep watching. So I'm going to be going in with two different Morphe palettes today, my 35B and my 3502. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this bone shade right here and I'm just going to lay down a transition color. And I'm using my E2 brush from ColourPop, which I love. And it's a nice floofy ended brush. So I'm going to start by going in my crease and just on my lid a bit, I'm bringing it up a bit higher in my crease because I'm going to be doing a really cool looking cut crease if I can pull it off. So fingers crossed guys that I don't completely stuff this up. So I'm gonna start deepening my crease up and the color I'm gonna go in with first is this, um, this pink shade here. And I'm just gonna start building up with the same brush in my up just above my crease and I start building this up so I can get a nice really intense red bless you for my next color I'm going to go just to the color next to that pink one which is this red and I'm going to go in with my E9 brush from ColourPop and I'm just going to start deepening that color up a bit. And as you can see, I'm actually going really high above my crease. Um, just because, like I said, I am going to cut that crease. And I want to leave enough room for the white and the blue in my look. Now, on the same brush, I'm going to go into my 3502 palette, and I'm going to go in with this really pretty shimmery red shade right here. It looks orange on screen, but it is definitely a red color. I'm going to go in with the same E9 brush, and again, start deepening the crease even more. Right, so now I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer for this. Just dabbing a bit on the back of my hand, taking my MAC 195 brush, which is this concealer brush that I've got, saturating my brush both sides, and I'm just going to cut the crease. And quickly before I have a chance to have that transfer up even higher, I'm gonna go in with my Fluffy um, Models Prefer Professional Brush and I'm gonna go into my Morphe palette with this white shade here and I'm just gonna set my concealer. Right, so that is the concealer laid down and set crease is cut next i'm going to go in with my um, nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk and i'm just going to get a really small brush which is my define concealer brush um, this is a super tiny ended brush looks like that there if i can get that into focus looks like that there and what I'm going to do is a little trick that I learned when I was doing makeup is you just dust your brush over the tip of the eyeliner just like this just to get your brush coated and then I'm going to trace out along that cut crease. All right, that's not as opaque as I wanted it, so I'm actually going to go in with the pencil itself. Now, it's a really hard because this is a quite a thick pencil. And 
I'm taking that just above my lid, if you can see that, okay? Right, so that white is laid down. I am going to go into another one of my palettes. I'm gonna try and find a shimmery white. I don't have a shimmery white, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a very small defined brush. This is my smudge brush, and I'm just gonna set that pencil. So just lightly tapping over the top of it, just to keep it from creasing. All right, that really makes that white pop, so I'm really happy with that. Next, I'm gonna go in, so that's me done with the 3502 palette. Next, I'm gonna go into my 335B, uh, and I'm gonna go in with this shimmery blue shade here. Even though Captain America's blue tends to be more of a denim blue lately, I really like the vibrancy of this color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my ColourPop E1 brush, which is a dense little packer brush, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus just to get that little extra oomph of color. Right, so that is the blue laid down. This is turning into a really, really fun look. Um, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on my waterline and I'm going to go in with um, that smudge brush. I'm going to kind of clean off that white a bit. I'm going to take the red shade, I thought I was done with it, from my Morphe 35, uh, 3502 palette, that red color that I went in um, on my crease. And I'm just going to start putting that in my outer corner. kind of blending my edges together. Then cleaning that brush off again. Uh, yeah, that red's okay. Then going in with um, that um, white, I am, yeah, I'm gonna do the white eye pencil right next to it. Which is coating my bottom lash line and looks ridiculous so I'm not sure how I'm gonna actually put mascara on so I'll just try and clean that off before I do and then I'm gonna go in on my inner corner with a very small brush and some fix plus this is my Stila number four brush again I'm not sure if they still sell this or not but I'm just gonna go on the inner corner and just meet up with that white Oh my god, this looks really cool. I like this a lot. This is fun. Um, okay. Um, oh, do I want to do a liner and stuff this up? That is the question. I do want to intensify that red a bit, so I'm actually going to spray some more Fix Plus on my smudge brush, and I'm just going to hit that red again. because it's not standing out as much as I wanted. There we go, there we go. Why I'm doing this left-handed, I cannot tell you. Yeah, that's looking sickening. Oh, so happy with this. All right, so, oh no, my blue's transferring into my white. Ooh, bugger. 
uh, it, it'll just have to, it will just have to be that way. I don't know how to stop that from happening. I thought I set the white pencil enough. Apparently I didn't, but um, we're just going to have to go with it at this point. I'm pretty much done with the look as is really. Um, so now I'm going to line my waterline with my um, definitely black eyeliner. I'm going to go upper and lower. All right, um, I'm not going to put any color under my brow bone because I kind of like this red, white, and blue thing that I've got going on here. So I'm going to put on some mascara, which is my Lash Paradise. I really like this mascara. Um, I know I said in a previous video I didn't know if it was going to um, take the place of my um, Falsies mascara from Maybelline, but... I'm really, like, the more I'm using it, the more I'm really, really liking this mascara. Right, so I quickly did my brows. Um, I've got my mascara on. Now I'm going to go in with, where is it? Here it is. My um, retractable lip liner in rouge or red from NYX because I'm doing a very bold red lip. gonna go in with my favorite favorite red lipstick it is the Mac Russian red and now I'm gonna contour blush and highlight all right guys so this is my finished look I am really really excited with the way that it came out um, if I were to change anything different I would put on maybe a little like tiny tiny line of black eyeliner on the top lid but, I mean, for the most part, I'm really excited with the way this turned out. I'm really looking forward to the movie. It starts in an hour. I'm so excited. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.